Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about FUDs and guns. At the risk of potentially being too harsh, uh, Breitbart recently posted a very short video on Twitter uh, about the best home defense gun. Now I know that there's an endless debate about what the best home defense gun is for various reasons or whatever, but I think that most of us who know things can agree that this video is pretty, pretty bad. Um, and let's go through why, shall we? Hey folks, AWR Hawkins, Breitbart News, at Scottsdale Gun Club. I want to show you how you pick a home defense firearm. Look at this. I have an AR-556. I'm going to shoot the target. I want to show you something. So first of all, you notice that that optic he has on that rifle is some kind of powered optic. I don't know if it's a low power variable or if it's a fixed optic or whatever, but it's clearly not something like a red dot. It clearly has some kind of magnification to it. Also, what is this ridiculous magazine he has hanging out this gun? I think that's probably like a 60 rounder. Maybe it's a triple stack or a quad stack. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Why can't you just put a normal magazine in the gun? There's the hole. I will say at least he puts the safety back on before he sets the gun down, so good on him for general gun safety rules. I'm guessing that shot is low on the target because he doesn't know his holdovers and he's used to shooting at distance. I mean, it's a really nice AR setup he has there with the optic and the suppressor and all this stuff, but I'm guessing that it's low, just at the bottom of that orange zone because he wasn't thinking about his holdover, which tells me he's probably not that used to shooting an AR. All right, let me back it up, same distance. Operate at about 12 feet because that's where you're going to be using a handgun or a firearm in self-defense. I was going to make a comment about 12 feet and how that's ridiculous, but within your house, that's probably more realistic. I don't, I don't know. I'm never going to tell you what distance your shooting is going to be at. Now I'm going to shoot with a 40 cal. It's a 40. Of course it's a 40. Why is it always a 40 with these people? There you go, there's your 40 cal. There was the 5.56. Five, so now we've shown you the whole comparison size, right? You got a little bitty rifle round and a big 40 round. I can't wait till we get to the shotgun. One last time. Now I'm gonna use 12 gauge. All right. Again, what's with this freakish magazine on the shotgun? Detachable magazines just shouldn't be on shotguns, okay? You can hate me for that, but they just shouldn't be. And wh why, what is this? And why does he shoot it three times? I don't understand what that's about. What, what's the point? That's just regular birdshot, folks. Birdshot, are you serious. So again, if we, if you ever, this person obviously has not ever shot anybody. And the other problem is they've obviously done no research on people being shot. And that's the main problem. I've never shot anybody, but I can read and I can understand how general ballistics work and bird shot. You're going to get maybe four to five inches of penetration, maybe maximum. You're, you're not going to get any kind of power that you would expect from a shotgun. If you're going to use a shotgun for self-defense, it should be loaded with double lot buck. Okay. That's nine 38 caliber pellets or eight. If you're using federal flight control and that's like shooting someone nine times with your pistol. Okay. I get that. I get the argument for the shotgun. It's not the best home defense gun, but that's a different video. Point is, is this person is talking about how birdshot is effective as a home defense round. That's not even real bullets. If you use real bullets, it's even better. And look at how good this is. That's ridiculous. It's just, it's so ridiculous, it hurts. That's not even home defense ammo. But this is why people choose a shotgun for home defense. If you were in a hallway and people are running at you, they kicked in your door, that shotgun's your best friend. Okay, now this is good. You see, he brings the target in, and there's a couple of really bad things. He talks about how much damage it does. Do you know what the biggest thing that punched a hole in that piece of paper is? 
It's the wad. It's the wad from the shotgun. If you don't know what a wad is on a shotgun, it's this plastic piece that separates the powder from the load, right? From the pellets that are coming out of the shotgun. So when you shoot a shotgun, both the wad and the pellets leave the barrel. And the wad will punch right through your paper and make this big garish hole. Well, that, that's what he's got going on there. The wad is what made the biggest holes. This would be like the equivalent of me throwing a baseball through a piece of paper and then saying, look at how much damage that did. Where's your shotgun now? Again, I'm not saying that I'm the absolute expert on ballistics, but even I know that this is ridiculous. You cannot look at a target and say, look, big hole better, and means big hole means bigger defense or whatever. That, that's completely and utterly insane. Velocity is the reason that rifles are so incredibly deadly and not pistols, or in this case, shotguns, right? The military and all militaries since the beginning have used rifles. Ever since we've had rifles, militaries have used rifles and not shotguns as their primary weapon. Do you know why? It's because rifles are effective and rifles are so effective because of velocity, not merely the 55 grains or 62 grains or whatever that's leaving the AR-15. That's not what does the damage. What does the damage is the fact that it's going over 3000 feet per second. And when it hits, there's cavitation and that bullet bounces and fragments and causes all kinds of other problems. So this idea that I can look at a target and tell which one makes bigger holes. Again, remember the bigger holes came from the wad. Uh, the, the idea that I can do that and then I know which gun is the best gun for home defense gun. It, it's just so stupid it hurts, okay? Breitbart, if you ever see this, there are lots of good gun trainers in the world and there's lots of good information. You don't need to go to whoever this poor individual is and have them make a fool of themselves for the whole world to make fun of. Come on, guys, come on. Do brave deeds and endure.